you know, there, there's several reasons that, you know, create homelessness. It's like something that you don't think will ever happen to you. I spent six years in the military before, you know, before I went out working in civilian jobs. You know, I had worked all my life and, you know, I took any job I could get. That's just how I was raised. I was working outside, working construction, and uh, I started getting these skin lesions and things on my on my hands and face. And uh, the more I worked, the worse it got. You have no appetite. A lot of times you feel nauseous. I have to literally force myself to eat because I know if I don't eat, I'm gonna get sicker. got bad and I went from working full-time to part-time and then lost part-time job my health got worse and then I ended up you know actually being homeless uh, that was pretty rough uh, you're out in the cold the weather your body and your mind's you know fighting off your, your your medical condition, your disease, plus your dealing with the elements. I was at the Temple Domiciliary. I was there for approximately three years total. I was unemployable. I had so many medical conditions. It was like, what am I gonna do, you know, if I have to leave here? You know, I'm gonna be back homeless again. Green Doors started this program for disabled homeless veterans. They had housing available to get them out of the domiciliary, get them back into the community. I couldn't believe it. it was one of them, this is too good to be true kind of you know, experiences for me. I wasn't involved in any kind of art before I was at the VA. Uh, I just started working with craft kits and uh, helping other guys that came into the, where I worked at the craft center. Being involved in crafts gave me that productive feeling back, which I was used to having working, you know, my whole life. I mean, you're not able to work anymore. You know, you lose that, like, your, your worth, you know, like, you feel like you're worth nothing. It was a good outlet for me, you know, the arts and crafts, because it made me feel like, you know, I had a purpose, you know, I, I was productive. I'm in the process of trying to get an arts and craft program here at this community at Pecan Springs. I talked to the uh, Green Doors organization and they're on board with it. It's a second chance, you know, it's something that a lot of people don't get. And uh, with these homeless housing programs, whether they're for veterans or non-veterans, you know, it could be the, the turning point in their life. A lot of times I'll say to myself that I'm in my own place now. It's like, is this for real? <laughs> you know, it's like kind of hard to believe.